Yellow, guess what? We're going to talk about binomial distribution, the binomial distribution. So the big thing about binomial stuff is you're finding an exact number of successes out of a number of tries. So we're going to imagine playing a game and we'll consider a win, a success, and the number of games, basically your total tries. And we're going to find a formula or create a formula that works for that. And then we'll look and see how we can just use our calculator to get the answer a little quicker. So I'd like you to consider a game. Imagine this is a spinner, okay? And we spin it. And the probability of winning is 0.2. And therefore the probability of losing would be 0.8. And sometimes in stats, you'll see this written as P and this written as Q, okay? So that's sometimes how some books write success as a P and then a, a non-success as a Q, all right? Just for a notation later on. We want to find, if I play this game, What's the likelihood that I win exactly two times out of five games? Well, think about that. What would have to happen if I was going to win exactly two times out of five games? I'd have to, I'd have to win twice. So 0.2 would have to happen twice. And I'd also have to lose three times, right? So I'd have to have two wins and three losses. But there's a lot of ways that could happen. I could have won I could win win then lose 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 or win win lose 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 or win lose lose win so there's a bunch of different ways so I have to figure out well how many ways can I choose the two winners out of the five games and that looks like this I have to choose out of the five games the two winners and if I think about it like this notice what this is this is five choose two also written like this five choosing the two winners and I have won the game twice but I also would have to lose the game three times this is actually how you find uh, the probability uh, use the binomial probability on um, the formula sheet has this formula on it it says what's the probability that your variable equals exactly X and it would they write it out like this um, N and K tries, N choose K. Then you have the probability of success raised to K wins. And then one minus that, that's your losses to N minus K. It looks the exact same, but what are all these numbers? Oh my goodness, what's happening here? Let's take a look. What's happening here is, this is choose your K wins. This is the probability you won. This is the number of wins. This is the probability of losing. And this is the number of losses, which kind of makes sense. And if we're going to do this whole thing out, well, 5 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial. This is the first part times 0.2 squared times 0.8 to the third. And if we're going to do this out, we're going to look, all right, it's 5 factorial 2, 3. Let's figure that part out first, and then we'll multiply it through. So let's take a look. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 over 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1. Notice 3s, 2s, 1s are gone. Oh, I'll do it with red. See you later. And 2 over 4 gives me 2. 5 times 2, so there's 10 ways to choose the winners. And if you want to see how to do those 10 ways, here they are. I, they could have been these two. Here's one way, two ways, three ways, four ways. These could have been the winners. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are all the 10 different ways. And each one of those ways is going to have some 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, whatever. It's going to have some arrangement of that. Let's figure it out. So we're going to have 10. So it ends up being... 10 times 0.2 squared times 0.8 cubed, okay? And that's what we're going to do. And our answer is 10 times 0.2 squared times 0.8 to the third gives me 0.2048. Ooh, there we go. About 20% chance, okay? So how, how, how likely is that to happen? About 0.2048 or about 20.5% percent chance of winning exactly two times out of five now 
there was a lot to hand to, to to break down there and understand. Remember, we have a game. It's a spinner. The likelihood you win is 0.2, which means the likelihood you lose Q is 0.8. What's the probability you win exactly two times out of five? Well, you have to choose the two winners out of the five. And remember, you have two loss, two wins. Then you must have three losses. This product is 0.2048. Now, how do you find the five choose two? You've done that before. Five choose two looks like this. Do -do -do -do. Take that five choose two, 10, multiply it by 0.2 squared, 0.8 cubed, boom. This is the crazy formula. Whoa, crazy. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's play five games again. Let's use this formula again. Let's say win four out of five. Whoa, win four out of five? Well, think about it. You have five games. First, you have to figure out how many ways can I choose the four winners out of five. So I've got to choose the four winners. Then I'm going to win four times and I'm going to lose once. So that's what it looks like. That's, that's the formula. Let's see, ready? Choose four winners out of five. You're gonna win four times. You're gonna lose one minus P, one minus 0.2 is 0.8. Then I do n minus k, which is 5 minus 4. That gives me my one loss. And we do it out. If you want to do it out the long way, you get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 over 4 times 3 factorial, which is 3, 2, 1. Wait, is that right? 4 to, No, no, no. Over. Oh, whoops, sorry. 5 over 4, 3, 2, 1 times 1. There we go. Whoops. And if I do that, ring, 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 ring. How many ways can I choose? 5. And I got to do my five times 0.2 to the fourth times 0.8 to the one. And on my calculator, here we go. Five times 0.2 raised to the fourth power times 0.8 raised to the one, th the one power. 0 0.0064, not very likely to happen. So it's not likely that you will win four out of five on this game. It's highly unlikely, less than 1% chance of that happening. Now you must be wondering, is there an easier way? And the answer is yes. I will show you how to find it. Remember, we wanted to say, hey, what's the likelihood we win exactly two of five? And then we did exactly four of five. And I'm going to show you, we can actually use something on our calculator called Bino PDF n comma p comma x and what is that what is the input what is this npx business this is the number of games this is the probability of winning and this is the number of wins you are curious about so i can figure this out by doing bino pdf what i'll do is 5.2 exactly two wins 5.2 exactly four wins so I put those right into my calculator. Let's see what I get. So winning two out of five exactly or four out of five exactly. How do I find that? Let's see. I go to distributions, which are right here. So how do I get to this? It's second over to distribution. And that's what I'll do. Second this down. Where is it? Where's Bino? Oh, man. oh, Bino PDF. There it is. What do I put in for two out of five? Number of games, five. Probability of winning, 0.2. Number of wins, I'm curious, curious about, exactly two wins, 0.2048. Likewise, let's see what it does for now. Here's a little trick to get this to come up really quickly. I'm just gonna pull up my last entry. Notice, look at that, my last entry is there. So I do second enter, it pulls up my last entry. Then all I have to do is go back and change that from two wins to exactly four wins. Hit enter again, 0 .0064, 0 0.0064, which is exactly what I thought it would be. And this is exact stuff, same things that came up earlier, all right? So the binomial distribution, think about what it's showing. This whole thing is a mess, but it makes sense when you think about it. Let's try it one more time by hand. Oh, why is he doing it by hand again? Because he's crazy, but yeah, whatever, that's fine. Let's see, find out exactly two. So exactly, what's the probability that you win exactly three of five? Exactly three out of five? Let's find out. Well, there's five games. 
first thing that I have to do, one, two, three, four, five games, is I have to pick out of these five, choose the two that are going to win. And Sorry, the three that are going to win, because I'm winning three. Remember, I have to win three times, and then I will have to, if I win three times, I'm going to lose twice to make my five games. What does that look like? Five factorial, three factorial, two factorial, which is five times four times three times two times one over three times two times one times two times one. When this reduces down, three, three, four, two, I get 10 again. Notice five choose three is the same thing as five choose two. Why does that happen? Because choosing three to win is like choosing the two to lose or the two not to win. That makes sense, right? So you're still making a choice. Anyway, so I get 10, same number, 10 times 0.2 to the third, 0.8 to the third squared. It's going to be a little bit different here. Let's see, 10 times, take out the calculator. Here it is. And I get 0 0.0512, 0 0.0512. Now, that's the long way. That's using the formula. Remember what the formula is. Is you choose the number of wins out of them all. You got this many wins, this many losses. Doesn't our calculator do it for us? Yes, it does. By no PDF. Out of five games with a probability of winning of exactly two. What's the likelihood I win exactly three games? Let's do it in our calculator here. Let's go through the keystrokes. Here we go. Where do I find by no PDF? It's under second dister. There it is. Where is it? It's way down here. By no PDF. Boom. Buy no PDF. I'm playing five games. The likelihood I win is 0.2. How many wins am I wondering about? Winning exactly three. I put those in 0.0512. Oh my goodness. Now, I can do this and make an entire probability table. Now, what's a probability table? A probability table will show you all the possible winnings out of five. Watch. To set up a probability table, you just put this is the thing happening, and this is the probability of that thing happening, right? So what's happening? We're going to say the likelihood you either have zero wins, one win, two wins, three wins, four wins, or five wins out of five. Now I can find all of those probabilities of occurring by using buy no PDF on each one of these. We already found a couple of these wins, but what we're going to do is we're going to use buy no PDF. The game we're playing five times, 0.2 comma zero, and then we'll do 5.2 win exactly once, 5.2 uh, win twice, 5.2 win three times, 5.2 win four times, and 5.2 win five times. Let's find all of those probabilities. I'll do it right now on my calculator. Hold on. And what did we end up with filling out the probability table? We got these. I rounded it down to two digits, and here are the probabilities. Oh, my goodness. I used Bino PDF for each one of these. Here's the probabilities of those. Guess what? If you add them all up, what do they equal? They all add up to one because something has to happen. You either, either win zero, one, two, three, four, or five times, right? So the next video, we're going to talk about what, what if we want to find out winning more than or less than a certain amount of times. Well... We're going to come back to this table and we will answer those questions. So I'm hoping you guys understood binomial. Binomial is telling you exactly X successes in basically X wins out of so many games. How likely you get exactly that much, that many wins. All right. So um, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. And if not, I apologize. I did my best. Have a great day. Uh, keep doing stats.